Dee from Smart Run Marine and today I'm going to show you what's in the box when you get your Sentinel Point Tracker. So, first you will get your Easy Install Guide, your Sentinel Point Tracker and your SIM card to help activate your Sentinel Point Tracker. So you've got your Sentinel Point, you just need to unscrew here and here take off the casing you'll attach the sim card into here so as you can see it just clicks in pop the sim card into there the metallic down push and clip and then you just attach the internal battery the unit will then activate you'll receive a flashing light when you receive one flashing light this means that the unit is ready to work it's a received a GSM and a GPS position. If you receive two flashes, this means that the unit has a GSM position, which means it can receive a message, but the GPS position has not been located, so you will have to move the unit around your boat, jet ski product, to make sure that you're getting the GPS position. When you're getting three green flashes, this means that the unit is not receiving GPS or GSM, and then when you're getting four flashes, it means that the unit is in charge up mode. Just like a mobile phone, if the battery goes flat, it needs to be charged up. This can take between 30 to 60 minutes for charge up mode. Okay, once you've got your Sentinel Point Tracker fully charged and receiving GPS and GSM signal, that's with the one flash happening, you then need to connect to your permanent power supply and you need to put the red to the positive and the black to the negative. So that's red to positive, black to negative. That will keep your Sentinel Point charged every time you use your device. For further information on the Sentinel Point Tracker, you can go to our website www.smartonemarine.com.au. Thank you.